Hi guys, Moses Marsh back in the segment. I've been out for a while. I wasn't in a position to produce new videos, but today we are going to take a detour and handle a different topic on cheap and alternative pottery management that I found out not long time ago. So today I'm going to show you how I run one of my side hustles. Buckle up and let's roll. So you need bleach, a bucket with a lid, a perforated one, an old pillowcase, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be old, and 2 kgs of barley or wheat seeds. Yeah, so you pour the seeds in a container like that and uh, you remove the chaff. You remove the chaff well and um, you remove the chaff like that, the old seeds, the husks. And then you pour them in the pillowcase. You pour them in a pillowcase and you roll the pillowcase like that. Yeah. And then you put bleach that's a small amount like that bleach the bleach i'm using is roughly 3.5 percent hypochlorite you pour it in a bucket and add some water to almost half and soak the seeds so you soak the seeds well uh, this prevents the growth of molds which are harmful to your pottery so when you soak the seeds this will prevent the growth of molds you soak the seeds for roughly 45 minutes and rinse them thoroughly with clean water. Yeah, you rinse them with a lot, a lot of water to make sure that the bleach is gone. Uh, like that. You rinse them properly, rinse them properly using a pillowcase. You can use this pillowcase to make the work easier so, so that you don't have to to remove the seeds from the bucket to another. So you you use the, the pillowcase to make that the to make to make sure that the seeds don't pour out and you don't waste a lot of seeds. Uh, so th this helps to remove that and to prevent the growth of molds. I had to sniff to find if the the smell of bleach is gone. Yeah. Then you pour the seeds in a in a clean bucket that is pre-washed with bleach. You pour the seeds like that. The bucket is also very clean and it's pre-washed. And cover it with a perforated lid. Because for seeds to germinate you need moisture, oxygen and dry temperature. I hope you all remember that. Then you put the seeds so then you put the covered seeds in a shade. After every 12 hours for two days, put a handful of water and shake the seeds well to maintain a steady moisture supply. After two days, the radicals have shoot properly, as you can see. And then it's time to spread them in a tray, measuring four feet by one foot and two inches high for two kgs of seed. Uh, the tray is perforated at one side to allow proper drainage of water. Yeah, you spread them like that, you spread them nicely, but you leave a space where the tray is perforated so that the roots cannot block the perforations to allow proper drainage of water. You spread them nicely. I do watering three times a day. Yeah, I use a sprayer to do that. This type of fodder is called hydroponic fodder because hydro means water, so there is no soil needed. Just water and a lot of water. You put it in a clean tray, so there is no soil, no dirt used. 
This prevents diseases and uh, fast growth. Chicks are at two months. I feed them at day five. So it's time to roll up the mat and take it for weighing. So you roll it nicely like that. Then uh, it looks like that. It's very nice. You can see there is no no rusty color. So there is no molds. It's very clean and it's very nice. I, and then I put it in a gunny bag like that for weighing. Now, the moment of truth. So the overall the overall weight of the folder for 2 kgs of seeds is at uh, 9 kgs. So for 2 kgs this time I got 9 kgs. So that's not bad. So I weigh 2 kgs for a day. I weigh 2 kgs for today. This helps me to reduce to reduce the amount of commercial feeds that I use. Then it's time to to feed the poultry. As you can see they are they are very excited. They are very excited uh, to see the, the, the fodder. So now let's get down to mathematics to find out if this is cheaper or just a waste of time and resources. So for 2 kgs of seeds you harvest around 8 kgs of hydroponic fodder. 1 kg of seeds costs around uh, 50 shillings, Kenya shillings, that's roughly 0 0.5 dollars. So for one, so 1 kg produces 4 kgs of fodder. So your 50 shillings gives you 4 kgs meaning you purchase every kg of fodder for for 12.5 Kenya shillings which is around uh, 0.125 US dollars okay so when I give my poultry 2 kgs of hydroponic fodder I reduce 2 kg of commercial feeds and 2 kgs of commercial feeds is 100 shillings while I produce 2 kgs of fodder at 25 shillings saving 75 shillings a day so when you multiply 75 shillings by 30 days you save 2250 shillings monthly I only give 2 kgs of fodder a day because there are some nutritional elements found in commercial feeds but they lack in hydroponic fodder. Thank you for watching and see you in the next educational video. Bye.